Hi, my name is Maike and welcome to my class here on YouTube. Today we are going to do a letter flow. So we add from round to round some movements. Between we have breaks and well, let's start and come with me to the top of the mat. So make sure you have some space between the top of the mat. And when you're ready, really focusing your eyes, stand nice and tall. Bring the shoulders back and down. And slightly soak the belly button in. Press the hips further and squeeze gently the butt cheeks. We want to activate all the, leg, all the muscles in the body. From here we go into the first round. Inhale the arms up. Look at the thumbs. Exhale, bend the knees. Come into a forward fold. Look at your thighs. Inhale, look to the front. Half lift option. Press hands to the chin. Exhale, hands down. Step both feet back into your high plank. Option, drop the back of the knee. And lower your elbows to a low push-up. Chest, chin down. And then lift the shoulders. Look front for your cobra. Exhale, press the hips back and down. Yes, so come into a downward facing dog here. Paddle your legs here from side to side. Really gentle. You always keep, can keep the legs bended. So focus more on lengthening the back of the body and then in the second step. Increase the hamstring stretch. Look at your thighs now or your feet. And breathe. Even when it's an uncomfortable position. Be very gentle here. And then inhale. The right leg up. Free leg a dog. Exhale, bring the right knee underneath the belly and place it to the right thumb. Inhale, the arms up, warrior one. Look to the front and squeeze here the left butt cheek. This will help you to keep the back leg, leg straight and press your hips a bit further. This will open your hips more. Your feet are like two railroad tracks. And then we twist to the right with your right triceps against the right thigh. Look over the left. Yes, perfect. Your hands can be in a prayer position or any other bind you would like. Always feel free to modify the shape. And then bring the hands back to the mat. Drop the knee, back knee. And then Shift the hips back into a runner stretch. So your front feet is really pressing hard into the mat. You can place blocks underneath your hands if you want to, yeah, if you have the feeling that your arms are too short. But try to squeeze and then bend the front knee. Step both feet back into a plank, knees down. Bend the elbows, chin and chest down. Untuck your toes and lift up for your cobra. Exhale, hips back and up into your downward facing dog. Try to find more momentum here. Look to your thigh and lift the left leg. We repeat the same on the left side. Bring the left foot to the left thumb. Inhale for row your one. And this time, activate the right butt cheek. Always shorten the stance if you like, or widen it. Really aim for lengthening the shoulders up. And press your hips slightly forward. And then exhale to twist the torso over the left thigh. Now your right triceps is really engaged Option here, drop the knee and try to look over the left shoulder or elbow. Keep the balance and then place the hands back down, step feet back 
knees down, lower the elbows close to the ribcage. And then inhale, squeeze the butt, look up for your cobra. Exhale, chin chest down, hips back and up, downward facing dog. Focus now on your thighs. This is the point where you're looking. And take slow, gentle breaths. Inhale, right leg to the front for our warrior one. Good. So stand tall at this time. Aim for more lengthening the spine upright, more vertical, and then to twist to the right and press the left triceps against the right thigh and to look over the right elbow. Bring the palms back down, back knee down, and shift the hips back. Run a stretch. Always here, shorten or widen the stance if you need to. And press the heel into the mat. Really press. Don't be just really relaxed, really press and activate. And then bend the front knee and place the right hand into the inside of the right feet. And this is option here for lizards. So you can lift the back knee or you keep it dropped. You can bring your forearms to the ground, find your option, your variation here. But aim for a deep, heavy hip. And then slowly bring the hands back up and cartwheel the right arm to the right, to the back of the mat, and maybe to grab the back feet. So an option here is when you struggle, take the take a yoga strap or don't um, bend the back knee. This is just an option for the lizard, but try to go into a twisted lizard when you can. You can look up, you can look to the back of the feet and then slowly release. And then step both feet back to your plank, option always here for a high plank. I go for the low one to chaturanga or low push up and inhale for cobra. Exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Very good. Keep the eyes strong and then lift the left leg for your free leg dog. Bend the knee, roll it underneath to place it to the left thumb. Here, inhale strong, gaze to the front. Reach for tall, tall body. Squeeze the hips to the front and then exhale to the left. We go into the twist. Always try to focus on one point. I invite you to look over the left elbow. Before we bring the palms down, shift the hips back into a runner stretch. Remind, be reminded to use blocks at any time you need and pull the toes towards you to encourage the front heel to sink deeper into the ground. Lovely. And be very gentle here. And bend the front knee. We go into lizards on this side. So both hands are on the inside of the left foot. You can stay here, you can keep the knee dropped or you can lift it. Any option you want to take. And let the hips become heavy. Then cartwheel the left arm to the back of the mat to grab maybe your feet. Maybe you don't grab it, that's okay. And then use a strap or just engage the back leg of the, the glutes to keep it squeezed in. Sink into your hips, sink deep. Imagine there's a heavy plate pulling it down. And then slowly release hands and feet, both hands inside, and then step feet back to the plank and take time to lower here for chaturanga. Inhale for your cobra and look to the sky. And then exhale, push hips back and up. 
Lovely, very, very good. And then inhale, three leg dog, right leg to the right thumb. Inhale, warrior one. And exhale, twist your toes though. Twisted lunge here. Always encourage to look over and then place palms down. Come back into a runner stretch and aim here for lengthening your chest further. And then bend the front knee, hands inside the feet. Strong inhale, lift and cartwheel the right arm, grab the right, or the left, <laughs> left feet, and sink deeply into the hips. Release slowly, cartwheel back. And now bring the right feet to the left side of the mat and find your pigeon pose. I like to stay on my forearms, but now try to bring the weight on the left side of the body. So aim for a very long, long line on the left side. So you don't want to roll on the right hip, you want to roll on the left hip. And this will intensify a bit the stretch. And slowly come back, sit on your bum and to bring the back leg to the left edge of the mat. Janu Shashasana here, turn your toes over the left leg. And then when you're ready, just fold over and pull the chest gently to the toes, in the direction of the toes. And look into the lab towards the navel to release any tension in the neck. And slowly come up, bring the hands behind you, cross your ankles and roll over. And we step back into a plank. Perfect, good job guys. Drop the knees, find your chaturanga very slow, chin, chest down. And then cobra, inhale, look front. Exhale, push back into downward facing dog. Look at your thighs. Focus back and inhale the left leg. Exhale to roll it over and place the feet down. Warrior one, inhale. Strong, long body, right butt cheek activated and then twist the toes to the left. Soak your belly button in, your lower core to engage the twist. Palms back down, drop knee down and then find your runner stretch here. I always change a bit the position because my body is very different and this is for example my better side. So allow it to help you too. And then hands back into center, lizard stretch here. Hips can become heavy and then cartwheel the left hand to the back of the mat to grab the back heel and really use your glutes and hamstrings to keep the knee banded and to sink deeply in the hips, in the front part of the hips. So we are stretching one part and strengthening the other part. This is very important in yoga. And then slowly release, cartwheel the arm back, hands down and now Bring the left heel to the right side. And this time we aim for a long line on the right side of the body. So don't fall to the left. Squeeze your right butt cheek to maintain the position. And strong, steady breaths. Good. And then gently come back and swing the back feet to the right corner of the mat. Janusha turn the toes over the right leg, lift up and then let your chest drop down, look into the lap. Maybe you want to hold the toes, maybe not, both is fine. 
pull the chest further and forward. And then gently release, hands back behind you, cross ankles and roll over in your plank. Always option to go into high plank. I go for the lower option to the chaturanga. And then I squeeze my legs very deeply to inhale. And then exhale, push backs, untuck the toes into the downward facing dog. Focus back on the thighs, pressing your hands into the mat. Long spine, long legs. Very good. Very, very good job, guys. And this time we make it once more on each side, but this time a bit faster. <laughs> so try to stay focused and then lift the right leg. Exhale, squeeze it under, place it down on the feet. Inhale, warrior one, long, long spine. And then exhale, twist torso to the right. Look over the right elbow. Good, inhale, hands down. Exhale, shift back into runner stretch. Chest is pulling further, hips are pulling back. Inhale, bend front knee, lizard shape. Both hands inside the feet, hips become heavy. Inhale, card wheel the right arm to the back to grab the feet and sink into your hips. Sink into the front part of the back leg and slowly release. And then wrap the foot to the left corner on the left side into your pigeon shape. Back on your forearms, squeeze the left butt cheek. Press the toes into the mat to activate all the muscles. Then inhale, swing the left leg to the left corner of the mat, Janu Shashasana, turn your toes and then fold over the left leg, place your hands where you want to place them. And then gently release here, cross your angles and then come back into your plank. Drop the knees, squeeze your elbow into the ribcage to lower. Inhale, go your cobra. And then exhale, push back, downward facing dog. Heels come down, long spine. Bring the chest in direction of the legs. Inhale, the left leg. Exhale, bend the knee underneath the body. Feet is down. Then inhale, warrior one, look to the front. And then exhale, twist to the left. Reach for space in the lower part of the body, palms down, and then bring the hips back. Look front and really engage the heel, the front heel. Inhales, bend the front knee and come into your lizard variation. No matter if your toes are tucked or untucked, it's your variation. Card wheel the left arm behind you to grab the foot. Sink again the hips down. Slowly release and card wheel the hand back. And then bring the foot on the right side. Really activate now the toes, the right side of the hip to squeeze it down. Bring the weight into this part of the body. Then gently release, come onto the butt and swing your right leg to the right corner, twist the torso, and then fold your upper body gently over the right leg. Doesn't matter how deep you are, aim more for a long spine, for lengthening. And then gently release here, hands behind you. Roll over the ankles and step back into your plank. Drop knees, 
squeeze elbows in to lower and then inhale cobra look to the front exhale push back downward facing dog aim for hips that point to the sky and take some strong steady breaths and gently bend the knees to the ground into a kako shape option otherwise come and sit down onto the heels bring the hands into the lap and close your eyes for a moment So tall, gentle breaths. Always hear the option to take your Shavasana, your deep relaxation at the end. And then inhale, the arms up, palms together. And bring the hands in front of the heart down. Namaste. Bow yourself for yourself. And thank you for practicing with me.